Hi, um, my name is Lise Bornstein. I'm originally from Washington, D.C., and I moved out here to L.A. to attend SciArc and ended up staying. Um, my focus in my career has been market rate and affordable housing as well as master planning. And I'm now a partner, oops, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm now a partner at KFA and um, am fortunate to also serve on the board uh, for the Association for Women in Architecture Foundation, as well as the board for Step Up, which serves uh, people who are homeless and who experience serious mental health issues. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> my passion has always been about building community. What creates community, what brings people together, what supports them, nourishes them, and allows them to thrive. I think that this is heightened today as the COVID crisis forces us to step back and re-examine our relationships, our connections, our ideas of community, and of humanity. I'm lucky in my career to be able to focus on building community within three areas of my life, as an architect, as a firm partner, and as a board member. My mom used to say, leave a place better than you found it. We only get one trip around, so make it count. I read recently that it is not important for us to fake happiness right now, but more to find meaning in our times. I'm gonna start by encouraging everyone here today to engage, create sustainable and healthy communities and neighborhoods through whatever avenue fits you best. And we don't do it alone. We stand on the shoulders of those who came before us, our mentors, friends, colleagues, our community. At the core, of the essence of community are people, connections, and moments. Create a home. Everyone deserves equal access to a safe home, a place that gives them comfort, dignity, and equity. Create a place where people meet on the walkways, where stairs are fun and open. Create a place to be independent, a place to feel pride, a place to bring your granddaughter for the first time after being ashamed for decades. Share a great story with a neighbor. Cluster front doors together so it is easier for neighbors to look out for one another. Create a place where kids can laugh and play and be silly, where parents can watch over their kids while doing laundry. Kids who are housed grow, given the same variables, access to healthcare, nutrition, et cetera. When they finally get a home, they actually grow inches. People watch. Give someone a chance to dig their fingers in soil and grow their own food. Give them a safe place to watch their neighborhood. Create a work environment where people talk about their weekends and their pets allow them to be vulnerable and open and they will be more likely to take a chance, raise their hand, voice their opinion. Provide a table where you can share Thanksgiving dinner and bring the taste of food from your own home country to others. Learn from others and hear their stories, laugh. Join programs that lift others up support education and help someone achieve their dream. Mentor and encourage a colleague, share your ideas, learn from others. We are fortunate to be surrounded by a community filled with so many smart and talented and selfless people. You have the power to affect change, no matter how small it will expand and spread. We have some tough times ahead of us with over 58,000 people sleeping on the streets on a single night in 2019. That number was already shocking. And now we have a crisis that will make that number pale in comparison. It is time for us to act, for us to pivot and find new ways to engage our communities. It is time for us to reach out. And my last plug, Food Bank. The Food Bank needs your help. It is at the core of so many organizations right now that cannot accept donations. So please consider that. Thank you. <laughs>